folks. Yes, it's been radio silence for me for the last while, but you know what? Let's get back to it. And I am on the way down to see my Beetle. Yes, it's nearly finished. It is driving and my God, am I excited. I am so looking forward to sitting behind the wheel of this car. It's actually been a good couple of years now since I've actually taken a spin of it. So I'm really, really looking forward to getting back behind the wheel of Ringo, my 1303 and uh, taking it down the road, trying out that rebuilt engine as well because there's been a lot of work done on the engine as well as the car. So, I'm, uh, I'm in the Toyota at the moment and I'm uh, 35 minutes away from Castle Dermot which is where the car is in uh, VW Spares. Um, great bunch of lads down there and uh, I have no doubt they're doing absolutely stellar work on the car. Just have to go down now and uh, see if there's any work I still want them to do, uh, any kind of snags or things I just want them to address or whatever. And uh, then get it out on the open road. So yeah, I'll, uh, you'll be joining me stuck to the window of the inside of the Beetle, uh, watching me taking it for its first drive. So uh, you'll be there with me, folks. Looking forward to it. Well, I'm nearly here at Castle Dermot, and I don't know why, but I'm nervous. I mean, <laughs> it's it's weird, actually. But uh, I actually haven't, uh, I haven't gotten down to Castle Dermot since I sent the car down on the back of the tow truck a few months back. So uh, this will be my first time seeing it now. Um, back uh, put back together again there, there is still a few jobs to be done by the way the uh, there's not, not going to be a headliner in it for example and um, to be fair the lad said to me that I'm better off getting an auto trimmer to do that and I will that's no problem so uh, that's one thing and there will be another couple of things I have to put the heater in myself as well so you know uh, you, you'll see those uh, you'll see those jobs done in, uh, in future videos so there'll be a bit of content from this as well so uh, yeah let's uh, let's have a look at the car here we are folks, there might be one or two Volkswagens around here and a dog that insists on throwing stones at my feet for, him to throw, for me to throw for him and I'm not doing it. But uh, let's, uh, let's walk up and have a look. Hey, there she is. It's by no means finished. There's still a good bit to do, to do, but it's on its wheels and it's driving. And we're gonna take it out for a spin now in a few minutes. Okay, so let's sit, in, sit into it and we'll have a look inside first of all. So obviously the RX, RX8 seats have been installed and oh yes, they are so comfortable. The driving position is really nice as well. But uh, obviously you can see in the background there, the, uh, the rear seat is still black and yellow. So for the moment, I'd say in the short term, what I'll do is I'll try some uh, leather paint and paint the yellow part gray, just to match. And then at a later stage, we can redo the, we can revisit the whole thing of retrimming. Also, you'll notice that there is no headliner at the moment. Uh, there is on the, uh, the rag top, but the rest of it is missing the headliner. And um, yeah, that's gonna have to be retrimmed. The guys said they can't do headliners and that's absolutely fine. Uh, but uh, yeah, it does uh, it does need addressing. So there's also then um, things like you know holes for speakers, the window winder handle. Um, but uh, you know it's it, it, it's mostly there. You know, one of the jobs I got them to do was put in this uh, gauge panel here in place of the radio. So that is um, I used to have the gauges up on top of the dashboard, but actually I think they're much nicer down there. And uh, the radio itself will go in the glove box. We do have the glove box lid to go on there as well. So that will be, um, that'll be refitted as well. And um, yeah, then in the back, we have a pair of six by nines on the back shelf, uh, which will be wired into the radio. And uh, I like the fact that he wired in the, <laughs> the heated rear window. It definitely does not work. I can assure you that. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, definitely a lot of it is kind of trim now and everything now. And we can kind of, uh, we can get that done at our leisure. Exterior wise, there's certainly a few things to be done as well. To be honest with you, what I was saying to the guys, <laughs> sort of jokingly, after the debacle with the bodywork, it makes it a very good 10 foot car, you know, but up close, you'll find a lot of blemishes and a lot of defects and stuff like that. And we are gonna have to revisit that passenger door again. The guys here in VW Spares don't do bodywork, but they do all the mechanical repairs and that kind of thing and uh, servicing. And um, if you were ever looking to buy a Volkswagen, they'd uh, probably put you in touch with somebody and 
most of all you can buy parts off them so uh, if you go on to vwspares.ie you'll be able to buy uh, parts for anything from a uh, beetle or split uh, split screen uh, volkswagen van all the way up to mark two golfs that type of thing so there's a lot of choices there you know but have a look at their website and the uh, prices i tend to find are very reasonable so it's really a one-stop shop for volkswagen parts so uh, yeah just having a look around the car you'll see um the rear lights here need to be changed um they're not the ones I wanted on it. And to be honest with you, I will be uh, getting a pair of LED rear lights and uh, they will look the part. Um, I will probably get the back windows tinted as well. That'll uh, improve the look of the car, I think. I'm still a little undecided with that. And there are a couple of running issues with the engine as well, which need to be addressed. Um, it's kind of running on the one of the carbs i think is a bit clogged up so look it's been a couple of years since it's been driven so what we need to do is we need to get back to basics with that just uh, give it a good burn hopefully it'll blow itself out and um yeah but you'll see what i mean now in a second right folks let's do this let's go for a drive <laughs> Did say there's issues with the engine. Don't, don't forget that. We'll, uh, we'll get to them. My inclination is to think that the seat, if anything, is actually a little too low. But anyway, let's get it out on the road and see how we get on. Tracking is all over the place. <laughs> oh, Ringo, I missed you. <laughs> oh, those brakes are serious. Oh, no growl out of it, it's just cosmic. Yeah, the tracking is atrocious, Jesus Christ. Brakes could probably do with bleeding again. That's all right. Yeah, she's pulling all right in four cylinders now when you put the foot down. So it's on the, it's on the mains, but it's dropping on the idles. That's not an uncommon issue with these bloody Weber carburetors. They block up if you look at them squarely. But, geez, the brakes are brilliant. They're like, a, they're like the Toyota. Jesus. Right, let's do this. Yes! <laughs> oh, this is gonna bring a lot of smiles to my face. I can tell you folks, a lot of smiles. And I could do with it now, I'm gonna be honest with you, I really do, I really do need this car right now. <laughs> Dealing with a lot of shit at the moment. <laughs> this is, oh yeah. Right, let's go get out on the open road a bit. There's a vacuum, electric vacuum pump for the brake booster. It's quite noisy. Um, you can probably hear it buzzing away in the background, but this car was never gonna be that quiet anyway. out nicely the work that the guys did in the engine there's definitely a, a nice bit of extra power there so we'll take it off down uh, down to the roundabout at the motorway bring it back around and that, that'll be a good run then for it let's let it rev out
tracking done as well. I might actually ask the lads to bring it in and get the tracking done before I collect it. It's miles out. Yeah, you can hear it popping on the carbs on idle. So, um, I think the reason it does that is it sort of floods itself or something like that. I'm not really sure, but whatever it is anyway, it's uh, it, it, it just, uh, a little bit of tuning required. So what I'll do is when I get the car back, I'll get it up to uh, Ben Lawrence who does uh, uh, does tuning on Volkswagen Beetles and stuff like that. And I'll get him to kind of get it, uh, get it right for me. But, um, you know, and he will get it right. It'll be perfectly dialed in. I might even get a dyno tune done on it as well. So at least I know that it's it did the engine is perfectly dialed in because it's good not only for power but also longevity and fuel economy and everything as well. I mean, nobody wants to be putting petrol in cars. So say what you want about me, you know, talking about the fuel economy. But when this is well tuned up, you know, on a good run, it'll do 30 miles to the gallon, or at least it would before I got a kind of the camshaft changed. That's the only thing that concerns me now. And she's move, moving along all right now. Like, there's 50 miles an hour, like, 80k for those of you in uh, the uh, metric world. issues and you know I mean this we can expect you know I mean there's always going to be teething problems especially when a car has been kind of sitting up and is you know certainly not by VW spares but it has been abused by others you know by another clown who did the body work for me and I still have to address that situation I'm gonna to have to get it into somebody else who knows how to fix that issue at the passenger door it's just there's something wrong with the a pillar it's and and, and you know I mean we, we do need to we do need to address that like on song at about two and a half thousand rpm which is much nicer because you want the power up higher in the rev range because like yeah I, I mean i know it was a very kind of torquey engine before but like as soon as you would sort of open the taps on it you'd run out of steam very uh, very quickly you know whereas um now i feel like the all that power has been moved up the rev range i'd be interested to see what it would rev out to. i'd say about six thousand i mean it's got a forged bottom end so there's no reason why it shouldn't It's almost like it's got a turbo. So I'm gonna drop it back to them and I'm gonna get them to do a few of the, the, the little jobs. And it, there's not much left to be done now at this rate. It's, it's kind of, it's fairly finished. I mean, I'm driving it. Um, so, oh, fuck. wrong turn. <laughs> There's a clearance issue with the carb top hitting against the bodywork as well, which I've asked him to fix. So that'll be uh, that'll be another one. It's not a big deal. Just. <sighs> needs to be done all the same. Jeez, the brakes are brilliant. You're not going to get too many four-pot engines to sound better than that.
back in the workshop. The driving position is really nice, except for when you're manoeuvring, in which case the visibility is crap. And <laughs> no, no passenger door mirror either, for that matter. And I stole it. I think the timing is out. Ladies and gentlemen, I am a very happy man. So just a few more bits and pieces to do, but by God, it feels worth it now, because I've been waiting too bloody long for this. <sighs> Let's uh, shut her down. Okay, so I'm going to, uh, I'm going to leave it there because um, yeah, basically we've accomplished what we uh, set out to accomplish here. I've kind of got a bit of a snag list for the lads now anyway, which I know they'll work through and um, the car will be better again the next time I see it. We'll get it, uh, get it retuned, get, re get the trimming done in inside and uh, get that uh, situation with the passenger door addressed. And then I will have a really, really nice car because it's already a really nice car, so I'm delighted with it. Listen, thanks for watching, folks, and um, stay tuned for my progress, and please do hit the subscribe button before you go. And, um, yeah, I'll see you in a future video. It might, it might not be as frequent, by the way, with the videos, but uh, hopefully we'll, um, there'll be a few bits and pieces coming out over the next while. So thanks for watching, and thanks for, uh, thanks for waiting. Talk to you soon.